Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Douglas. <laughs> I'm Alistair. And this is the Highland Hikers. So, as you can maybe see, we're uh, chilling out on a wee ski lift at the moment because we are doing the Monroes at Glen Shee, which are... Yeah, we're doing the three Cairnwell ones, so we're going up Carn Wooster, <laughs> and then it's Carn Ayoy, and lastly, the Cairnwell. That one's easy to pronounce, yes, isn't it? Yes. Um, in terms of the route, we've got about 13 kilometres and less than 600 metres of ascent for three Monroes. Yeah, I mean, that's probably got to be, what, about the easiest three Monroes you could probably bag in a single day. Yeah, I mean, if you miss out the outlier and just do Carnoosta and the Cairnwell, you could probably get them done with like maybe 300, 400 metres of ascent yeah. and probably in like an hour or two. They, they are very, very easy. Certainly they would be fantastic beginner Monroes to do, but we're going to do the third one as well, given we're here. Yeah, unfortunately, they're all in the clouds. The weather forecast said it was going to be great, and then we arrive and it's decided to, to change, and it's now even starting to rain, so this may be our first wet walk of the year. But, you know, such is life. I think, you know, there's, there's there's some blue skies about, so we might get lucky. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We had a nice lunch at the Ski Centre Cafe as well, didn't we, before starting? Yeah, this is a, a late start for us. We're like, what, just after midday we're setting out, which is very unusual for us, but given the, the massive car park here and it's a wee bit of a drive, you're doing a park run. But, yeah, we've had, we've had our grub before starting uh -huh. this walk, so we should be fairly well fueled for the the whole the whole route cool well let's crack on with it then so that was an extremely quick walk we are at the first summit and it's 40 minutes in and we've stopped to do some filming on the way up as well. So that's uh, fairly quick. I'm sure uh, if you weren't doing that and you're a bit fatter than me, you'd be up here in like half, half an, hour, an hour. Easy yeah. peasy, yeah. <laughs> but I am um, Karn, Karn Ujda is the first Monroe of the day and it barely squeaks in uh, to the height of a Monroe. I think it's about 30 centimeters over the cutoff. <laughs> so I think it's the, what you said, it was the second smallest Monroe. Yep, second smallest. We've also done like third smallest and fourth smallest as well, although I've got to do the smallest one yet. But kind of, I think it's funny. I'm like, what, what point in this this mountain behind us here is the, is the actual highest point? Because obviously the, the, the cairn here that's getting constructed is a bit higher, so Aye. do you count that when it comes to measuring the height? If you took it away, does it...? Oh, it's uh, debatable. I mean, what was it, <laughs> Ben Lawers? They they built a big cairn on the top of that to try and get it over the... Um, 1,200 metres? I think 4,000 foot mark, I think oh, they right. were trying to do for that one. Um, but it then got deconstructed, uh, so, oh, well. you know. <laughs> but, I. The sun's trying to break through here, but it's not really doing a good enough nah. job. Although it's qu it is quite bright, isn't it? It is, aye. Like, I'm like feeling like I could have sunglasses on just now. <laughs> aye, so aye, we'll crack on and get to the, the next one. Hopefully maybe get a view in the in-between parts at least. So. Aye, if we're lucky. <laughs> Well, that is us at the summit of the second Monroe of the day, Karn Ayoy, at a height of... 975 metres. We have gone up, what is it, what do we say, 60 metres or something like uh -huh. that? And it doesn't feel like it. There was some gentle undulations. It was a wee kind of steep bit actually back there, but it didn't feel like 60 metres, so... No, I mean, I guess because it's over about sort of four kilometres or something yeah. like that. So the kind of main difficulty getting to this one is just the route finding, really, because as you can see, you can't see anything yeah. right now. Although, yeah, the pass up here, though, is 
very well walked, so it's very obvious. I think the only bit was um, we were kind of coming off towards the turn off to the Cairnwell, uh -huh. and the well worn path just goes straight on there, and we were kind of meant to turn right. And it was quite easy to miss that in the mist, so. But yeah. We, we noticed that very, very quickly, and then just retraced our steps slightly. Yeah, I, I had been saying to Alistair that the navigation was quite tricky to get over to this one because I've done it, um, I think it was about 10 years ago in similar conditions, but the paths were certainly not as well worn back then. I guess um, just Monroe bagging and hill walking in general has become a lot more popular over the last decade. Yeah, especially the last few years with the lockdowns and stuff. You're not able to go anywhere, so. No. <laughs> Aye, but um, just disappointed in the, the view, but we hope, hoping we're uh, making that sacrifice to the, the weather gods <laughs> yeah. so that our next trip at the end of this month is going to be in better conditions. Aye, well I think uh, time to head along to the third and final Monroe of the day which is the Cairnwell and we will get to see some exciting radio masts when we get there. <laughs> yeah, some ski apparatus <laughs> yes. as well. So we left at the summit of Carnayoy and on the way back over towards the Cairnwell the clouds have lifted and the views have opened up massively and it's absolutely beautiful up here. As you can see behind me that is the Cairnwell where we are heading over to but the views are just far and wide. We're looking right up into the main Cairngorms plateau to the north and it's absolutely beautiful. I am so glad that we made it out today even though the weather forecast was pretty much terrible this morning when we set off. It has been worth it to come up here and see this. Well, that's us reached the summit of our third Monroe of the day, the Cairnwell. And we've met another YouTuber who does uh, hill walking videos. Do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> I, really, I did try to avoid him, but he caught me <laughs> in the camera. Uh, Paul, Paul Agnew, so I, I, I do the same as these guys, just some some daft talking up at the top of house and stuff like that. Nothing too serious. So. Uh, ah, good stuff. So your, your, your channel is it PA Adventures, is uh, it? Aye, PA Adventures. Cool. Aye. We'll put a wee link to that in the description below, so make sure you check out as well. He's got some cracking videos on there. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but aye, we're up Cairnwell, probably the most unattractive Monroe summit <laughs> maybe in the country. <laughs> is there any worse than this? I, not that I've come across. This is certainly the what I mean, it's the most featureful summit, you might say, with all the radio masts and weather stations and such like. Interesting's probably a, a good word for it. Aye. There's a wee bit of graffiti on some of the walls, you've got a nice abandoned toilet there. Aye, well, yeah, yeah. Is that what that is? Well, I mean, I think it's a mountain shelter, but it's mountain. probably been used as a toilet, yeah. so uh, you might want to to avoid it. Um, but no, it was uh, I, fantastic bumping into Paul. I was just walking along there, and I turned around and said hello and continued walking. And I turned around and Alice is like, it's Paul here! And I, I like, didn't even recognise him to begin with, it's like with the hats and all that on. But aye, no, it's... Uh, it's like funny the, the coincidences who you yeah. meet out on the hill. So many Monroes and here on the same day. Yeah. Aye, uh, so we've got the wee walk back down. We were debating about whether taking the ski lift down would be cheating or not, but. <laughs> six pounds. Six pounds? Six pounds? I thought it was seven. Oh, is it seven? It's seven. Seven. Oh, well, seven, seven. Seven one way and 12 <laughs> a return. So. Oh, that's pricey. And it doesn't even get you to the top. You've got a wee, uh, wee bit to walk up. Well, I mean, speaking of the top, is like the summit shelter there at the summit, or do you have to climb up one of these masts to get to the top? No, you need to climb up on top of it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to climb on top of the uh -huh. toilet. <laughs> Looks like it's about <laughs> to fall down, though. <laughs> Don't have all tape my way. <laughs> right. Well, uh, no, it's, it's been a decent walk so far. We'll probably do a wee bit more. Um, as we head down so yeah. yeah good stuff see you further down the hill so we are just on our way down the Cairnwell back to the Glenshee Ski Centre and we've come to a fork in the road and we've got two choices of which route to go down the gully drop 
<laughs> or the bunny run. Which one should we take, Alistair? Hi, well, you're going, you're going for the bunny run, I'm sure. I don't know if I fancy the gully drop, though. <laughs> you don't fancy the gully drop? Does the name not tempt you to go down that way? I mean, it's probably quicker. Yeah, the, the fact that that sign's red and the other one's green kind of gives me a suggestion that that's the slightly more difficult way. Yes, it would be. I mean, they're, they're, they're ski run signs, obviously, and red is um, one of the tougher routes compared to green. Um, so, yeah, I think we probably will follow the, the regular path yeah. back down. But, you know, if you're feeling adventurous, you could go that way. Yeah. Probably advise not to, though. <laughs> So we are a good way back down the hill now and we've got what 10 minutes I think before we're going to get back to the car so I thought this would be a, an ideal spot to kind of end things today. It has been an interesting walk. I, um, personally I wasn't really looking forward to this one. I thought it was just three hills that I was going to have to tick off if I wanted to bag all the Monroes but certainly the walk out to the second one was far better than I thought it would be and the views out there are absolutely spectacular yeah when um, they opened up on the way back we yeah. looked around and we were like oh that's that's quite impressive you've got some big drop offs off the side and stuff like that yeah it, it really it changed my opinion of these definitely the easiest Monroes we've done absolutely I mean if you're looking for your first Monroe to do and you want it to be as easy as possible these three, particularly the two closest to the road, are certainly going to be up there on that list. Yeah, definitely. Like we said, we were up that first one in 40 minutes, mm -hmm. so even if you're not particularly fit and this is your first time, you'll be up there within an hour. You could just come straight back down if that's all you wanted to do, or you could head out to the second one. It's a, a much longer walk, but it's definitely worth it and easily achievable for any of any skill range as long as it's cloud free i would say yes yeah, so navigation could perhaps be the only thing if it's uh because it's not very there's not a lot of features heading yeah. out that way uh but the path was pretty well defined so should be okay um but yeah we're going to head back down to the car park now at the ski center and then head into braemar where we're spending the evening so we can uh, do our second hill walk of the weekend tomorrow yep so we shall see you on another hike <laughs>